exercise 54, page 103, question number one, uh, solving this indicit equation. I know it's an indicit equation because x, which is the thing I'm after, is in the power. And the way to solve these is to use the laws of logarithms. And the main one that we're using is that the logarithm of a to the power b can be written as b times the logarithm of a. So the power, b in this case, can come down and become a multiplier if we turn it into, if we use logarithms. Because logarithms are powers, we can do that. So what I do is I take the logarithm of both sides. The logarithm of 3 to the power x equals the logarithm of 6.4. So that's the first step. Pretty well always when you're trying to solve indicit equations is to take the logarithm of both sides. Using that law of logarithms that we've just written down, that means the x can come down and become a multiply. So x times the logarithm of 3 equals the logarithm of 6.4. And now it's just straight algebra. Remember that logarithms of 3 is a number. It's not um, logarithm times 3, it's the logarithm of 3. Just this is the logarithm of 6.4. So I can think of those as numbers. I can use the normal rules of algebra on those. In other words, if I want to get x on its own, on the left-hand side here, I can divide both sides by log 3. So x equals log 6.4 divided by log 3. I've divided both sides by logarithm of 3, which gets rid of the multiply by log 3 on the left-hand side. Now all I need to do is get the calculator out and work out the answer, which should be the answer in the text. Having had a look at that one, try this one, which is almost exactly the same. 5 to the power y equals 3.6. Use this is an indicit equation because y is in the power, so use logarithms and find the value of y. You can check that it's correct by putting it back into the original equation and see if, if it works. But once you've had a go at it, pause this uh, video clip. Once you've had a go at it, then you can look at the answer that's at the end. So here is the answer. y equals 0.796. And if I put that back into the original equation, I can see that it gives me 3.6. It gives 3.6006 to five significant figures. But of course, that's because I've rounded the answer. Why 0.796 is given to three significant figures.